Hi guys, so uh, this is my very first Let's Play video, so I'm kind of excited about that. This is going to follow the story of a character I've created called Stephanie James, and she was inspired by a build, a speed build video I did. So the uh, Daddy's Little Princess apartment, so that's what this is inspired over. But I thought I'd start showing you this screen so I could at least demonstrate which packs, which game packs and what things I have. Because I know people like to know what happens and what packs and game packs and stuff packs you have. I do plan on getting Island Living so will with this Let's Play I probably will um explore some of those features especially for this character because i think she'll fit really well into this world you'll find out more about her in the next part in this video but yeah so i have all the expansion packs currently out i have the get famous uh seasons cats and dogs City Living, which is one of my favourites, I guess. Get Together, which I also love because it does the clubs and the pubs. And then we've got Get to Work and I love the active careers. And I also have all of the current game packs available. So that includes Strangerville. Uh, not sure how much of that we're going to use in this Let's Play because it's a storyline in in itself and though some of the additional traits are useful and things like that i don't think stephanie would um really be interested in doing that she's not really her thing i have jungle adventure i'm not sure stephanie would much like adventuring in the jungle but she may like going to an exotic place on holiday so that's why i've got that parenthood well at the moment stephanie's still quite young she i'd say she's about 21 so we probably explore this later on down the line and um she probably would have more of a family but vampires well this is my favourite pack, just because it is. Uh, we'll see how it goes with Stephanie on this one, but I'm sure she'll meet some vampires, and they'll probably point out some of the errors of her way, with being the wise old people they are. Dine out. Stephanie likes to dine out. She's not really a big fan of cooking. When she was younger, she had a maid, a chef, so she doesn't really know how to do it herself. So she will definitely be going to lots of restaurants, invites, spa day. Stephanie loves to pamper herself, stuff like that. And we've got outdoor retreat. And I'm, she's squeamish, so she's not really going to like camping or going outdoors that much because of uh, bugs. Camping's not really her thing, but she probably would want to go on holiday. And I think if there was a guy or a girl, because I'm Stephanie here, she's bisexual, she'll, yeah, she, she'll date either. Um, she may go with them if they invite her, but she's not going there for um, herself, it's just to be with the other person. And stuff packs, not really important to the storyline. These are just the stuff packs I bought when I wanted certain things. So laundry day, because I really like the laundry system. And it reminds me of when I first played um, The Sims 3. And I think it was uh, Riverview. And one of the packs, I can't remember which one it was came with laundry stuff and it had the washing line and that's sort of my first memory of playing the sims 3 with the little house on the stilts so that was for nostalgia reason bowling 
I like bowling and it looked like a nice place. I bought the cool kitchen stuff because I wanted the ice cream maker and perfect patio stuff because I wanted the hot tub and the vintage glamour stuff pack because I wanted the butler. And I just bought those just because there was very specific items I wanted that I wanted for my gameplay. So that's why. So I've also got the holiday celebration pack installed. Not sure how much we're going to explore it, but we'll see how the Let's Plays goes along. I really should start to claim this one, but I yet to do it. But for Stephanie, this is not really her guitar. It's not her thing. If she was going to have any guitar, it would be pink. So it's not really her guitar. If I click on it, it's too rock and roll for her, but. If I do a vampire let's play, I, that will definitely be the one I will download it then. So now we're just going to jump straight into seeing Stephanie. Uh, so here we go. So this is Stephanie. And as you can see from her both her appearance and the surroundings in the apartment we're in she loves pink and princesses she's just a grown-up princess really and with that so yeah so she'll just try everything she can to keep everything pink if she can and as you can see her uh, household funds are still at 19,000 and she's got this basically really big apartment and that's because her dad paid for it. Basically, Stephanie wanted, was living with her father and her brother and um, basically, though she was like the jewel of her dad's eye, um, he wanted her to be a part of the family business and she was like, no, I don't want to do this. I just want to be, I want to talk to my friends. I want to join all these clubs. I want to do this, that. I don't want to be part of the silly business. And let's be honest, she's a bit spoiled because when she was younger, her dad just gives her everything she wanted and she didn't have to really work hard. So she was like, oh, fine, I'll move out then. And though her father kind of knew she couldn't do that on her own, but he was prepared to see if she was brave enough. So he was like, fine, I'll give you the money to move out. I'll let you do this, but you've got to make it work. Like, I'm not going to top you up on any more funds. I'll give you a place to live, some staff and money. But I'm not going to give you any more. If you need my help or you come back to me, then you agree that you're going to be part of the family business and that you need to be a part of the family and that you can't just go around doing what you need to because he needs the whole family there, especially her because of her image and how pretty she is. He needs the friendly, sort of beautiful face of the business because her father and his son, their reputations are starting to shatter a little bit and they need her in the business to be able to um, to be able to basically salvage some of it. If we go to her family tree to start off, you can see here. So here we've got Stephanie and her father said she had to get a job to start getting the apartment, so she joined the rag reviewer career. But as Stephanie's not that bothered at the moment, and she doesn't really believe her dad's not going to give her any more money or any more startup, um, she's not that bothered about going. But we'll see how this let's play goes. And then we've got her brother, Raphael, and Raphael, basically, he is in line to inherit the family business, 
he's been groomed by his father all his life to know how to run the business and he knows a lot of details about it that um Raphael that Stephanie doesn't and he seems his relationship with Stephanie is kind of mixed like he'll do anything to protect her she's his little sister but he he doesn't like how his father gave her such an easy living gave her everything she wanted where he made him work hard for what he had to do so he may appear later on in this let's play at the moment he's working as a regional manager and for how young he is that's quite an achievement and now if we move to thomas james he's the boss he's like the father of the family if i click on his family tree you can see that the mother is no longer a picture because she's died giving birth to stephanie and that's partly the reason why thomas does um give stephanie everything she needs wants because she looks so much like her mother it reminds me and he really did love her and he does love his son as well but he knows because of his career though he says he's the boss he's actually in the criminal career his daughter and his wife, even when she was still alive, didn't know that um, about the criminal activity in his career and the things they do. So he, there's a bit of extortion going on there, human trafficking, that sort of thing. But in order to keep his family safe, he had to put someone in line to be next to him. And that was Raphael because he was the oldest and he was a lot more tougher than Stephanie and he didn't want anyone hurting his little girl. So Thomas is true to his word. He, he, he only said, fine, I'll let you move out. I'll give you the money to start because you know, he knows his daughter might not be able to do it because she's been waited on hand and foot all her life. And that's his fault, but it was the easiest way to protect her because it meant if she either stepped out of line or someone from the business got to her, he could go, well, I'm going to cut you off then. I, you don't have anything of your own. So, but he also, he, she is his daughter and he wants to see if she can do it. And if she can prove him wrong, then he'll let her do what she needs and he will protect her over anything. And here we can see their mother, Gabrielle Signs James. Uh, she came from a Mexican family, hence some of she taught her kids Spanish when they were young. Well, she taught Raphael Spanish. And they actually also, these two, they met in El Salvador when they were on a business trip. He was on a business trip and she she worked there in the uh, bar. And basically, that's how those two met. And she, she didn't really know outright of his criminal dealings of her husband, but she did know somewhat. She just chose not to ask. But unfortunately, Gabrielle here died giving birth to Stephanie. So hence, she's no longer in the picture and that really did hurt Raphael because he is like at least eight years older than her and he remembers his mother and what she was like and what it was like before Stephanie was born and he resents Stephanie for that slightly and because of how similar Stephanie and Gabrielle look, that's why Thomas chooses to treat Stephanie like he does and give her everything she needs because he couldn't do that because he actually wasn't there when she died. He was on a business trip and she was left to give birth alone and he always feels guilty about that. And he thought maybe if he was there, he could have done something to save her, but he wouldn't have been able to. Okay. So if we move on to uh, 
Stephanie's trait, just to give you a little bit more about her. She is squeamish, so she won't like bugs, dirt, animals, thing, because everything, when she lived with her father, everything was taken care of. They had a maid, a butler, and there wasn't any need to do any of that. She didn't need to learn. She was more interested in updating Instagram and social media just to see. She's self-absorbed because of that, loves taking photos of herself, loves displaying her life in the public eye on social media. Because of the sort of amount of money her brother and her father own, earn and her not having to work hard for anything, she is a bit of a snob, she is spoiled. But she is generally really good at talking to people, Getting she's very charismatic. And you can see here that her apartment really does suit her personality. If you want to see more details about the apartment, then um, I have another video where I did a speed build for this apartment, which inspired this Let's Play. So we shall see how that goes along. So if I press play, at the moment it appears if we... At the moment, she's just sitting on the sofa, and that's fine. But, let's see. Apparently, she's cold, because it's a cold day. Well, it is winter now, I guess. That makes sense. But, she has got her own little perfect pretty pink laptop, and I think what she's doing here is she's writing an email to her friends to say, Oh, I've moved. I'm going to have this party come along. And she needs to meet a few more people from her um, neighbourhood to be able to invite them. And to be fair, she's not very good at cooking yet because um, she never had to do it. So she'd just been living on ice cream from the ice cream maker at the time because she could follow that. And you can see here that she's cold and she's cleaning up spoiled food because she just left it there expecting it to be gone. And it wasn't because she forgot. She hasn't got a maid. She hasn't got a butler. It's everything by herself. Oh, what's she watching at the moment? A film on werewolves. Yeah, I reckon she'd be into that because they'd probably be quite attractive, wouldn't they? So I think what we're going to do now as it's 12 o'clock in the middle of the day if we cancel that and we take her downstairs so that we can try and meet some of the neighbours and the ghost of her dead mother is texting her that's weird so we'll <laughs> cancel that one and we'll see what she's doing now let's see Okay, so as she's outside her apartment in the cold, the first thing she is going to do is take a selfie, say, oh, look, I'm outside, I'm... And she's back inside, it is cold outside, to be fair. So she's going to say, just going outside my new apartment, got this new hat, it's going to be cold outside, but I still look good doing it. So there we go. Do one this way as well. Then we can see if we go here, we can then see. You can see now she's outside. She's gonna take uh, another photo of her where she is outside because she's going to say oh look there's a park just outside my apartment and she wants to show off she wants people to know and because she's a nosy cow she's going to take a picture of this lady she doesn't even know this lady or these people but she just wants to show the surrounding areas of her new place so all her followers can see what she needs to do so ooh, now she needs to update her Instagram story. And what she is going to say here is, oh, freezing outside, but my new apartment is amazing. 
And basically, she'll put anything and everything of her life. You can see at the moment, she does have quite a following. It's not huge, but it's still significant. And what she also loves is uh, streaming because she just likes to advertise her life to the world. So no matter what it is, she will sort of show off what she's doing so she could go see this mural. Oh, and who's this? Is someone she wants to meet, I think. So we'll see if we can meet our first friend. Because she looks pretty, so it'll be the sort of person she's going to have a conversation with. And they're there just chatting. And you can see the streaming. It does get her quite a few followers. Oh, and here's another person. So she'll introduce her to that because... Both of these people are admiring the art, and she does like art, so that's what she's going to do as well. And I think it's taught like a pirate day, had some of the weird options. And now she wants to talk about fashion, because both of these seem like they're quite fashionable. So we shall see. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I reckon. She wants to show off to her followers to say, look, I've got all this money, I've got all this. And the reason she wants to um, befriend Luna here is because she's in the Paragons and that's a club that she wants to join. That's a club she wants to join. She's going to view the artwork again because she thinks it's pretty. And you can see, like, the neighbourhood she's in is quite populated. And um, because the this is about to run out of battery, we're going to end the stream because she's one of those places that if she wouldn't notice and then she'd just leave it wherever she left it and these are quite expensive so we're going to put it in there while we remember and now she's just gone to talk to some homeless guy in the park oh yeah okay oh and she just joined a protest as you do what are they protesting okay i guess joining the protest will be a good thing for the cause And if we talk to Summer here, we appear to already know each other. But again, she, it, she's pretty popular. People like her. So she wants to be friends with her. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably the protest they just did saying, oh, the guy who started it, honey. Oh, and now they're talking about her outfit. You can see that their outfit for the cold weather is quite similar, isn't it? And um, because it's getting to five o'clock now, we want to actually go order some food. She's not a big fan of cooking or anything. Again, her dead mother is take, asking her to go to the lab. So we'll order some food. Because she's not going to cook if she doesn't have to. And at the moment, she still has quite a lot of money. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, she just had a spice burn, I think. Yeah. And um, what we're also going to do, because she did just have a spice burn, we'll update our social media status to say this. So we gained 12 followers there, which sounds pretty good. Oh, look, it's her brother. And we're just going to say hello here because her, her and her brother don't get on too well. 
and you can see that they're only acquaintances and stuff like that so they don't really get on that well they've been a bit okay so as it's nine o'clock we just went back upstairs to the apartment and i think the, what we want her to do for now is to look at the photos that she took earlier and upload them to Instagram because she wants to explore her day because she had the statuses and that's fine but we're gonna have to put them somewhere else it looks like okay put them somewhere else then let's find a wall Oh, got noisy neighbours, they're all shouting. That sounds reasonable. For now, we're going to upload these to Instagram. So we'll take each one and upload them. So here we've got all those photos we took today and it did give her quite a substantial following so that works. If we go to we want to check she also wants to check her social media timeline to see if anyone's going. But also you and now she's watching a film, is it an action film I think? So I think we're gonna leave it there for this part. But basically, this is the introduction to Stephanie, her family, and what sort of person she is. In the next parts, in the next parts, she's going to explore more of the clubs and the socialising. And you can just see just there that she had a sad moment because she was thinking of her mother when she was watching the film. So that's probably why. And as she's off to sleep, that is a good place to stop. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next part which should be uploaded right after this part because this part is just the introduction. Thanks!